Welcome everybody to another episode of Latif's Inspired. Today we're in the village and going to be cooking some authentic food for some guests. Um, it's going to be unique and different for you guys to experience proper authentic way uh, rather than cooking up in a restaurant. Um, I brought the chef along and um, hopefully I'm going to guide him and cook some amazing uh, dishes as I'm not used to cooking um, this kind of method. So I brought him along and hopefully we've talked about the recipe and he's going to be cooking a wonderful dish and I'm going to try my best to give you a good commentary. So fortunately for us and unfortunately for this geezer, this is... The main event which is the goat curry curried goat boona i also got this sheep as well but we'll cook him on another day hello mate we fed him uh for about five days or so so he's got a good food in him and then he's going to be hopefully good grub for us so yep so this is the chef today Ready, Nesco? Yeah, ready. Let's cook it. 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 Let's it. Let's cook 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 it. Gotcha. So what he's saying, um, he's going to be cooking a few dishes and um, hopefully this is some of the brisket of beef, which is the beef sinner and a bit of the liver and the heart and so on. And a special dish is going to be a pie, uh, which I've got the whole cow head and the bones. We're going to be cooking that. I'll show you that shortly. So this is a massive pestle of mortar. This is the garlic, the fresh ginger, all the spices. I'll show you something very nice in a short bit. Now this is the piece de resistance. It's going to be, this, this is when we uh, slaughtered the cow. This is left of the head. And uh, we're going to do a lovely paya, which is the bone marrow curry. So nothing goes to waste. And I really want to do this traditional dish and we're going to show you the Bangladeshi uh, way which is the paya and the bones so this is going to be a lovely dish hopefully look at this meat the color of it is very tender and it's moist and it's going to be lovely and fatty and almost melt in your mouth meat so it's going to be an amazing textures and flavors and hopefully we're going to show you um, how it's going to um, cook it and obviously hopefully i'll try to taste it as well so this is as it comes look at this lovely fatness Beef head and all the bones gone in. It's about one kg of onion. Fresh garlic going in. About 50, 50 grams of ginger. Roshul, 50 grams of garlic, 1 kg of oil. Now we're adding turmeric. How much is it? 200 grams. 200 grams. 200 grams. No, 200 grams. 200 grams. That's just 10 grams of uh, turmeric, sorry. Now 10 grams of coriander powder. It's about 100 grams of chili powder 
and we're going to be using some mung dal so he's washing the lentil now and he's going to be adding that uh, to the paya the beef head and the bones bismillah so now it's the cooking process of hopefully a wonderful dish so that ladle has about 2 kg capacity so plenty of water going in Four gram. Yeah, gram. About hundred grams of salt. Right, he's gonna add the garam masala, these uh, green uh, that is cardamom, a few of the cinnamon, which is the cassia bark, uh, pepper. Con gul moris nani kano? No. Long. So some cloves. Um, they're gonna go in for the garam masala. It's just toasting the fennel seeds. So that's 300 grams of uh, cumin seed just going into the toasted fennel seeds, so it's going to toast it up together. So that was the beef gone in. Now he's adding the garam masala, which is the bay leaf. That's one handful. And that's his cassia bark. Uh, uh, that is below, um, below, clove. And the uh, cardamom. Yes, it kg. One kg of onion. Twenty grams of turmeric. gram. Ten grams of uh, coriander powder. Fifty grams of chili powder. About fifty grams of salt. Fifty grams of ginger. About 50 grams of garlic. About 500 grams of oil. So this is the ground uh, fennel and the cumin seeds which was toasted and pounded up to a powder. How much gram did it? One gram. That's 50 grams added to the uh, paya. That's 50 grams of uh, the toasted cumin and fennel powder. powder. Right, I'll show you this beef head for Hunter. It's still a bit hard, so what I'm going to do is I've asked the chef to put more water so it, the whole beef head is covered. And once it's covered, it's going to soften up that meat on the cheeks um, and fall off, hopefully. So we've got some fresh water and we're going to add it. Right, so I've asked him to put some water in.
হাতের পরে রাখো মাংস কত বল রান্না হইছে বুঝো এক ঘন্টা so the beef has been cooking for about 1 hour he just added a bit of water to soften up the meat i like he's eager to so the meat is tender and soft and it's done so now he's going to add some potato kare ta dekhai ekon alu le tikhi khamaria tikhi khamaria this dekhai la oi sir oi sir so the meat is cooked now he's going to add the potato তুলে সাবাস That's the head of the beef. It's still got some time. Oh, but don't you know what we said? This normally takes about a few hours to get cooked. So the tongue, the everything, it's going to be the masterpiece for today. It's been cleaned properly, so don't get worried. Look at that. Something unique and different for everyone to enjoy. Beautiful. Right, guys. <clears throat> so... We started cooking the beef um, for about just over an hour. Added some water um, here and there to soften up the meat. Then he's added the potato. And it, after adding the potato, um, the potatoes in Bangladesh is not like the red potatoes. It's not too waxy, it's quite tough. Um, so that takes about half an hour um, to get cooked properly. Um, the cow head and the bones, the paya, that's been we started cooking it uh, since 8 30 it's about 8 30 a.m and it's about uh 10 15 minutes past 10 so just over one hour and a half so we're nearly halfway in the process um it needs another one and a half to maybe two hours but the secret uh to the flavors is cooking it for a long time so the longer you cook it um, and leave it on the slow gas or whatever it cooks and it tastes absolutely beautiful so the reason being that's why we've started cooking that first the head and that's going to be the last one to come off so however long everything else takes we're going to turn that off right at the last minute and i'll show you um exactly what it is Russell, they how to me tastes fantastic nice, very nicely seasoned it's quite strong in the masala is used quite a lot because it's a thick buna style curry with the potatoes you need a lot of flavor now so now the curry is come to the finishing stage it's going to add fresh green chilies so fresh green chilies and coriander and then you're going to take it off the gas that's fresh coriander That's the beef uh, with the potato curry done. Let's have a look at the cow head curry and the paya. <laughs> it's still hard. It's 
still tough, but it's looking fantastic. That's two kg of onion going in. That's cassia bark, cinnamon, which is uh, the um, cardamom pods and cloves. Go for the that bay leaf on it. Around, I don't need that half litre of oil, about 300 grams of salt. <laughs> 300 grams of garlic, 300 grams of ginger. Now this is the 8 kg of goat meat going in. The cooked curry is just boiling away and now we're going to add the Bangladeshi parch prawn which is the powdered garam masala. This is going to build a fantastic fragrance and a little bit of flavour. I like that. Mm -hmm. Look at this wonderful curry. Absolutely gorgeous. Mouth watering. That's the dal. It's going in. This is going to create a thick sauce, a nice thick gravy. Move that in. Bismillah. Right guys, we've just been awarded some gifts and these are fresh bananas. I send the This is fresh banana from the tree. Let me show you. This is fresh from the tree. There you go, and he's gonna share it out. Fresh Hogastaki. Fresh Hogastaki. Fresh Hogastaki. Now I'm gonna get, we'll get one for myself. I'm a chef. What's that? What's that? What's Okay, okay. Right, I'm gonna taste these lovely banana. Dor, hey. There you go, this is fresh from the tree. Even has a fresh smell to it. This is organic as it gets. Beautiful and sweet. Amazing. In 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 He's just gonna add the cumin and the fennel seed that was, was toasted and powdered up. And he's gonna add it in photogram the guy. About 100 grams. Pasturan, this gram.
কারি হয়ে গেছে মানে ফিট ফিট দিলাম ফিট কারি হয়ে গেছে ফিট করলাম কোশির কারি ওই যা কাঁচা মরিচ দিলাম ওটা হল যাব দুনিয়া পাতা দিলাম হাত করা দিলাম এদের এমনি দিলাম জৈন বাঘর জৈন বাঘর মেথি কালিজিরা মিক্স পাউডার মুরুক ফ্রাই করবার লাগে ঘি দিলাম কত আর ঘি দিলাম এক কেজি Oh. 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 So the chicken he's with a a bit of and a bit of salt and then he's gonna fry it so he just toughens up uh, uh, then to add it to the corn. দালচিনি আর আছি লং রসুন পঞ্চাশ গ্রাম আদা পঞ্চাশ আদা পঞ্চাশ So this is the beef liver going in. How much is it? How much is it? About 5 kg. Oh, it's not going to be a lot of meat. It's a lot of meat. It's a lot of meat. বিটা দি রে 20 গ্রাম হলুদ 20 গ্রাম হলুদ বিশ গ্রাম but this is outdoor catering it's raining as you can see so now we're gonna have to put something just above to stop the rain water uh, well it's stopping the cooking process really mm. 
خب حد خورا دیره دیرم دیرم تشتی سال دیرم تشتی سال پس بران پس بران रूस्टर प्राय को ये तो इस्लाम तेल वो तेल दिया है यही दिया है किसी यही एक किसी फायर में तो टेस्टिंग सोल दिया रूस्टर फोन से दिया हम लोगों दिया दाजिनी अलसी तेज पता लॉन्ग लॉन्ग Right, this has been an exhausting process. We've cooked quite a few curries. Um, now we come to the finishing. We're gonna add, uh, do the chicken curry and the rice. So I'll show you what he's doing. 50 grams of uh, ginger. Fifty grams of garlic, fifty grams of ginger. Two grams of halud. Rooster masala. Ten grams of turmeric for the chicken. Chikino. Ten grams of chili powder that was for the chicken. Don't need to add any more. 10 grams of coriander powder that was. The toasted fennel and cumin powder. About 10 grams. This is going to build a fantastic flavor as well as fragrance. Now he's adding some tasting salt, MSG. 10 grams. Ten grams of punch bone powder. This is a sort of garam masala, which we use in England, but this is the Bangladeshi version. It's amazing, fragrant, and absolutely flavoursome. Chicken dram, chicken fry. Chicken fry. The chicken fry is nearly done. So this is, this, this is the peanut paste, it's ground up. So that's the peanut paste gone in. This is going to create a lovely texture and a thickness. Hopefully it's going to be an amazing tasting curry. That was about 100 grams of uh, peanut uh, that was that pasted down, made into a paste. Look at this amazing colour. Wow, look at this. It smells absolutely fragrant and just tastes, wow, I can't wait. 
Larion. So these are the uh, fried eggs, uh, bin, which is uh, being boiled and slightly with the turmeric just been fried and it's going to be added on the Indian. Oh. Rice. 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 Yeah, I'm done, I don't know. I'm in you, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world.